Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the AICP ROM. Yes, I know it is quick. Uh, I just recently did an AICP ROM which was based on the 7.0 version of Nogat. But they have upped their game and the latest version is based on the 7.1 version and it is one heck of a ROM so stay tuned for that. Disclaimers guys, um, I am sick and uh, it's not something which I can control But I still want to make this video before I switch over to another ROM now more about that later now Let's get started now first of all This is the lock screen which is the standard 7.1 lock screen now This is based on the cyanogen mod ROM so you are going to expect all of the cyanogen mod uh, issues Which is available in other cyanogen mod based ROMs nothing can be done about that but still this is still one of the best packages for a 7.1 based ROM I have used on this OnePlus 3 till date so yeah that is just amazing so in the uh, phone status you do have AICP custom ROM it is Android 7.1 you do have that uh, AICP nightly now there are only nightly versions available the patches are still October because November patches has not come out yet and this is the um, 4 November that is 4 11 2016 uh, nightly the, I have been using this as my daily driver since the 1st November, no, no, not even 1st November, 30th November, 30th November nightly. So this has been my daily driver for a long, long time. And I have pretty much just not cared to move on to a 6.0 ROM because this is as good. Uh, there are still a few issues which I had uh, encountered in many, many uh, situations. I will get into that. Let's get into the features now. First of all, most of the features are basic uh, Android Nougat features. So you do have all of these available. Uh, one issue which I have uh, come across is that when you change the cellular data to something else, it bursts out and it just you ha have to restart the phone and somehow get it back to the um, primary SIM card. So that is still an issue. That was an issue with many other 7.0 ROMs also. And that is still an issue. Now most of the extra stuff is in the AICP extra stuff so let's get started on that one. Now in the AICP extra you do have buttons and display animation so you can enable customize the display animation of the power menu so you can have that. Toast animation can be customized, toast icon can be enabled so that is also pretty cool. Now status bar, status bar options is available with the super zoom indicator and this does come with the cyanogen mod super zoom and that is something which I really appreciate. Battery bar can be enabled and you can have the battery bar with all these customization. Traffic indicator, now this is one of my uh, go to features in any ROM, I do really need this, I mean this is my basic requirement in any ROM right now so, so I'm pretty happy that this is still available. Carrier label can be enabled on the status bar on the lock screen only. ASCP logo can be enabled. Heads up display can also be enabled, so that is also pretty cool. Notification ticker, status bar ticker is also available where you can customize all of that. I mean, you can enable that and uh, enable the old status bar ticker. So, yeah, if you really like the 6.0 status bar tickers, that is your way of enabling that. Notification drawer can be, uh, notification drawer stuff can be enabled. So, you do have brightness slider icon. You can enable the icon also so that is also pretty cool and uh, the quick setting panel can be customized with uh, all these rows all these columns so you can pretty much have a lot of stuff here so that's really cool to have I mean you can have six items per row so that is really really amazing and if you are someone who uses a lot of applications a lot of stuff and you do you still need the notification to be available uh, even with all that stuff this is a really cool feature so I really appreciate that. And the lock screen option, you do have double tape on the lock screen to sleep the phone if you are checking the time or something like that. Lock screen torch is also available if you uh, uh, press the uh, power button while the screen is off and that is really cool. Panel phone now, you do have options to customize everything here so you can enable accent colors so you can enable all of that. Uh, there, there, there are quite a lot of features or settings which you might be able to use and I really appreciate that. Like the stroke thickness and the stroke color and all of that can be customized. I really really appreciate that. Another thing which I noticed with the ACP ROM is that the color used is more blue than teal and uh, I don't know how, why that is but I am much more attracted to this color than the teal which is available in stock Android and I really appreciate that. I really like that and uh, that is something which made this ROM more accessible for me. 
in the various shade options you do have the uh, screenshot sound enabler launch music app and a uh, disable the immersive mode messages so that's also cool and you do have a inbuilt uh, log cat enabler so you can uh, take a log of something and diagnose it if something is not working out for you so that's something there navbar is available you can enable the navbar but if you enable the navbar uh, the hardware keys are disabled so you don't have any issue uh, you don't have much control over it but in the navbar settings there is the status bar the smart bar setting also so you can enable the smart bar and still get it working so that's really cool the display option you can enable to disable the live uh, adaptive brightness live display is available but again live display automatic mode doesn't really work out as it should normally so that is still there and this slider doesn't do anything which is a cyanogen mode 14 bug so uh, nothing special but yeah it is still there if you want it night slide is available you can enable night light if you are going to use this dock so that's really cool and the display uh, ambient display is available and you can customize whatever appears here and i really appreciate this i do use this uh, quite a lot and that is something which i really like prevent accidental wake up is available but it doesn't cover the uh, proximity scanner so yeah that is still a thing uh default font size and this thing can be customized and that is one of my biggest fe um well, I, I like this feature of no cats the best because you can customize the display size on the fly without a reboot and that is really cool. Battle light can be customized here and notification light can also be customized with uh, artificial value, custom value for each application. So that is also really cool to have. Now the battle life. I, uh, I have already talked about this in my previous ROM reviews. The 7.0 and 7.1 battle life is pretty similar and the 7.0 battle life is unlike I've ever seen in a CM based 6.0 ROM. I really really appreciate the battle life which is uh, on the Nogat ROMs. I have been gaming with it and by the end of the day I get about 40 to 45 percent of battery life and that is phenomenal. Normally on a CM based ROM I get about 28, 30, 35 percent. Uh, that is about 5 to 10 percent increase. So that does give me a lot more stuff. Now the Oxygen OS ROMs does give me about 40% battery life but that is still uh, not having all these features enabled. Stock ROM is kind of bare bones of the features department so now the button stuff you can enable the uh, the on-screen nav bar button also from here and there is the normal cyanogen mod layout of button customization which you can customize the double tap of the um, center button so that is also pretty cool. And also the reason but a long, a long press can be customized but uh, something there is that the split screen long press doesn't really work so you do have to think somewhere around that so yeah there is a playback control version and the keyboard cursor control which I personally use a lot of times now gesture control is working and I really appreciate that uh, I have been able to use the gesture control for most of the features which cyanogen mod is well which oneplus 3 does uh, support other slider is working and this is one of my uh, go-to feature in any ROM. I want the other slider to be working. That was the main reason I was disappointed with the CR Droid ROMs. Uh, till date, CR Droid from 7.0 onwards was not able to get the other slider working. Now that is really really disturbing for me because every other ROM is able to get that done. Why not that one? I was actually, uh, I did spend a sleepless night waiting for the new version of CR Droid. Rest everything is basically uh, what you would expect out of any other CM based ROM. You do have clock styles where you can customize the left uh, AM PM indicator, uh, status bar option, uh, quick pull down can be enabled or disabled, show weather. Uh, weather options doesn't really work. Uh, I haven't been able to get that working. I'm not entirely sure how to get that working. So if you are going to, if you do know how to get that working, just, just let me know. Uh, I want to use that. So yeah, that is pretty much it in the uh, settings menu. Stability wise, I've been using this as my daily driver for some time now, uh, basically two to three days. And in the three days I have used it, I did encounter a few reboot issues, but that was with the previous version of this ROM, that is the previous nightly versions. On this one, uh, basically I have updated every nightly. So that is 30, 31, one, two, and three. And this is a fourth version I have updated till the third uh, November version as an a dirty flash I didn't I did have a reboot issue until the second version the third version no uh, there was no reboot issues all, all seemed pretty well and I had to go move to the resurrection remix ROM and then come back to this ROM so that's what you are seeing right now this is not my daily driver right now reboot issue was there 
I haven't experienced that with this release yet so that is something which I do want to convey to you guys now the camera performance as you would expect the camera is nothing special and uh, that, that that is still an issue with most of the ROMs but the footage camera app does work out I have used it and uh, that is pretty much the best way to get the better camera quality out of your OnePlus 3 on the same 14.1 ROMs so here is the end to the benchmark score which I received with this ROM now I just literally ran this benchmark so that is a about 15, 115,000 so that is on the higher side but the um, I have gotten better scores I mean higher scores than this one previously with the same ROM on the previous nightly versions so uh, the maximum I got was about 153,000 which is well I would I would still consider that within the margin of error so yeah this is about as performance as you can get with the CM 14.1 ROMs so here is the boot animation which is for the ICP ROM and ever since uh, Marshmallow I guess that has been the same. I really really appreciate that. That is a really cool boot animation. So yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, there is still the call volume issue which which is notorious on the uh, 14 space. So uh, call volume issue is still there but this is probably the most stable 14.1 ROM out there for the OnePlus 3 right this minute. So. That is just what I want to convey. Uh, for me personally, I really don't think I will be able to move to the 14.1 or CM14.1 or any other ROM on the NoGet space until it has the theme engine because that is something which I use on a per day basis. So yeah, theme does give you much more uh, pleasant uh, user experience than the stock. Uh, no get based experience I uh, yeah it's just boring with this theme so yeah I guess that much is it about this ROM I hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye